name's Jonathan Norman from the Major Projects Knowledge Hub and I'm delighted to be interviewing Reinhard Wagner. I'll ask Reinhard to int introduce himself in a minute. Uh, around exploring what the alma mater Europe Europea, that's quite hard to say, uh, are, are doing in terms of research around the social impact of projects. So Reinhard, please introduce yourself. Thank you, Jonathan, for inviting me. I'm Reinhard Wagner, I'm from Germany. <clears throat> I'm very passionate about projects. So um, I started in the military time to do some projects and continue in industry and worked quite a long time for the associations in Germany and also the IPMA, the International Project Management Association. And it's fascinating to see how this discipline is growing, is developing and is also moving from more an industry application towards a societal uh, activity. Yeah, excellent. Well, uh, tell me a little bit about this this thing, Alma Mater Europea. Apart from being hard to pronounce, what, what, what is this? Yeah, Alma Mater um, means it's a university. It's a European university. It was founded by the European Academy of Sciences. Mm -hmm. you know, they wanted to have a more international approach to teaching, but also doing research. And uh, in 2011 in uh, Maribor, that's in Slovenia, they, um, a very nice city. Um, they started a campus on project management and project management activities, a master's in project management, but also a PhD program. Mm -hmm. And through that, they also identified there's a need for uh, taking more care of our projects on the societal level. Right. Thanks. So this is the starting point of our initiative to 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 analyze more uh, the need for project management on a societal level. Right, okay. Um, Major Projects Association, we're supporting this, this 10 year research program that looks mm -hmm. at projects um, from a societal perspective. Do you want to give me a, a, a bit more of a sense of the kind of rationale and scope of, okay. um, of what the research is aiming to do? Through my travels in uh, IPMA, so I traveled many, many countries, I always get the question by governments okay, what can we do to improve the way we do projects? If you go to Cambodia, um, they do not have an education or uh, a standards body on doing projects. And um, they need to be efficient and effective in the way they do projects. So this is a question for governments, but also for industries, for communities um, in developing countries, for all uh, sectors in society, how do we do projects? Mm. So this research program will uh, dig much deeper into the role projects have for societal development right. and um, I think that's uh, under researched right now so uh, most of the research is fo focusing on project management so how to manage a single project or the role projects play for a company so in industry I think they're well equipped doing mm. projects but on societal level we find there's not enough knowledge there's not enough uh, awareness and not enough capabilities of doing projects on um, this level just one, a few examples from my side. Mm -hmm. So in 2015, Germany suffered from this influx of more than a million refugees from the Syrian, but um, also other areas. Um, so in the first instance, it was the civil society that took care of those people, providing food, providing uh, um, shelter, um, mm -hmm. even housing and so mm -hmm. on. But um, afterwards, it's a matter of integration. How do we integrate those people in society? And there we stepped in from the German Project Management Association, mm -hmm. developing a kind of a master plan for our cities, how to deal with this massive um, number of people. And also um, the German Project Management Association helped to um, organize language courses because there are many people that want to help. Um, but uh, someone needs to take care and organize all that and that's the role of project management. So um, it's a totally new meaning of doing projects in the context of uh, societal development. Mm. So and I think that's worth of dealing with it and uh, analyzing and um, informing people how they can use projects for the better yes. of society. Yes, yeah. Uh, I was just reading this book um, about visualizing transformation and there was mm -hmm. a fantastic analogy which I, I really enjoyed, which was the kind of difference between a, a mechanical or a mechanistic approach to change and an emerging approach. And the, the example that the author cites was that a mechanistic approach, which is in some ways has often been associated with project management, is that you throw a stone and you throw a stone and you can mm -hmm. 
you can throw it as hard and as far, and you can aim it at whatever you want to, to throw. Whereas the emerging approach is that actually you don't have a stone in your hand, you have a bird. Mm -hmm. And the minute you throw it, it kind of goes wherever it's going to go. And, and I guess what you're looking at is really this sense that um, projects are, of course they're about planning and control and intent, but they're also about emergence. Absolutely. So um, we say that soft is the heart in project management mm. because it's people doing work for other people on the societal level. Um, and it's mean, you need to understand these kind of needs people have. Um, you need to involve them. You need to organize social processes. Um, you do not need to be a psychologist for that. Mm -hmm. But anyway, it's good to understand um, how to organize such a social movement. Yes. We, for example, worked in Nepal with um, communities where mm -hmm. women um, are starting their own businesses um, and they have no clue uh, what we talk about when we say you need to do a project plan or something like that. So you, we also, from a project management perspective, need to use a different language yes. to explain what we mean by organizing. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So this is why the expression of project organizing may be a better language than project managing, because management is not really known in this yes, area. Yes, yeah. So I know <coughs> there was an initial meeting of the research network in Vienna very recently. Yes. Um, what sort of organizations are you involved in and, and how did that first meeting go? Uh, it was besides these uh, restrictions we have on the coronavirus, yes. but we met with about 10 people uh, mm -hmm. in Vienna. So we got mainly researchers that are interested to do some more research and create some knowledge. Um, but it's also an, uh, very, very essential that we have practitioners in the field. So yeah. We have NGOs involved, mm -hmm. charities, they do some very practical work and they need help uh, to understand much better the, the work they do, um, but also the role projects and project management will play for them. Yeah. We have um, media, like um, you are representing also mm -hmm. the dissemination part of that information because I think there's already quite a lot around. So researchers all over the world are doing something, mm -hmm. uh, but it's in very specific media. So it's in scientific uh, journals, um, practitioners are not reading that. Yes. So this is why the major project association and your mm -hmm. role with the Knowledge Hub is very important to disseminate information, yes. to engage people and um, also contribute to the welfare of our society. Okay, and if an organization or indeed an individual is, is interested in, in mm -hmm. supporting the research um, and perhaps becoming involved, how would you advocate that they start? Where do they start? Uh, get in touch, um, I think, um, with me, with you. Um, and um, we have on Facebook, um, it's, a, it's a site, it's called projectsociety.world. Um, um, and um, so it, just get in touch and see how you can contribute. Everyone can contribute. Whether it's a practitioner that can provide, um, let's say, the scene for doing research in a practical application, or it's a researcher that want to have um, a master thesis, for example, done in that field, mm -hmm. or someone just um, informing, um, organizing an event um, somewhere on this planet. Good, okay, so, so let's look forward to 10 years and imagine we've launched our bird and it's flown off in the direction it's flown <laughs> off. What would you like to see, what, what impact would you like to see this having on the way um, projects are delivered? I'm saying uh, projects are the new normal of working. So look in my country, in Germany, we do this Energiewende, this big shift away from coal, from nuclear mm, to... Yes. Re renewable, uh, but no one is really managing that or organizing that in a way that I would say, okay, that's a good job. Um, the government is just um, um, publishing some policies and expect industry or the party to do something, um, but it needs coordination. Mm. Um, but also look into the climate uh, challenges we have at the moment. Um, we have Greta Thunberg, she's on the road, but she's mm. also not offering a way uh, how to do it. Um, governments have new policies, but um, there's no way how to do it. Um, and I think that's our view and perspective that we can help with mm. our profession um, to tackle these challenges. And um, I think that's needed in all of our societies.